I'm Montgomery, I'm 10 years old, and I'm from Liverpool. I'm in grade four now, but later I want to be a fashion designer and a lawyer. I like fighting crimes. I wish for a rock that looks like a pizza. <sighs> and then you blow it. There. I live with my mom, dad, and siblings. I want a house, I want a job, I want to be rich. That'll never happen. It's mostly all I care about is having a place to live and having a job. Because if you have a job, you can make money and you can put groceries in the house. And for a house, you'll have some place to live and not on the streets. I moved on School Street, I moved where I used to live, I moved here. I moved all over the place. But since we don't have a car, we walk places. I like school, except for the part when I fall asleep. I used to sleep down here and always watch the TV all night. That's why I fall asleep in class. Yesterday, I told my mom to take it out because I stayed up all night watching TV on school nights. I never got any of your gummy bears. I do have attitude. What ones? Most of the time, I'm nice, and most of the time, I'm bad. I'm good for a day or two, and then I'm bad, and then on and off, on and off. If my mom yells at me, then I'll yell back at her most of the time. While Donna in her attitude, she only usually has it when she's around us. <laughs> she's not a bad girl, she's really not. But then again, I don't want her out there doing what all the other kids are doing. Breaking and entering, smoking, drinking. She can be very easily influenced sometimes. For one thing, I don't want her coming home saying, Mommy, I'm pregnant at a young age. Being a child herself, having a child. It's not easy. <laughs> Been there. <laughs> Did this for my dad. A tux. He's cool. He's also my guitar hero. He just paints buildings for a guy named Rob. Now that I'm working, you know, everything's better. We'll be able to breathe again, because we've been holding our breath every day, it seems. We've run out of food before, and we've had to get handouts, whether it's the food bank or some friends. It's rough sometimes, especially uh, with four of them. It's always full, but not this time. Chicken noodle soup with a lot of vegetables. Mm. A little bit of ketchup, a little bit of mustard. I want my kids to, you know, have a good life, something better than what I had. I don't want them to end up in jail. Uh, I did not have a pleasant experience there. My kids deserve better than that. And that's why I tell them, go to school, Learn something. Don't be like me. Don't throw your life away. She's young, I know she wants to do things and she may surprise me and actually be able to pull it off.
Can you join one of them? Let's see. Awesome. <laughs> Ready for an eye? When you first have a baby, they have a public health nurse that comes in, and then they'll ask you if you want just someone to sit down and talk to, give you tips and hints on stuff that you could be doing to try to improve. It was actually Donna that um, was talking to her mom about wanting to talk to somebody outside the home. So when I arrived on the visit, Joan had asked me if I could make that connection for her and I brought the referral papers and sent it off. She's helped with Donna and her attitude by getting her to go see mental health and then she's helped Nathan see a speech therapist. I guess the premise behind the program that I work with is a family approach to, to raise a child and if the whole family is healthy, then each member of that family is healthy as well. I'm going to try to live till I get to my 80s or longer. To get to my 80s, I have to stay healthy.